a man of God, as our pastor, we have received numerous messages from around the world about how the ministry of our apostle has impacted on them. Here are a few selected messages that we have put together to help propel your faith as we celebrate 55 years of the favor and grace of God upon this man. So you are celebrating and we are so blessed to have had you as part of our early Christian journey. I mean, I remember those days with the choir, um, you would organize several trips to Achimota Forest for prayer retreats. That was a that. Out of the numerous songs we ministered with you as a choir, this tree song really stands out. I mean, anytime we minister, whether we rehearsed or not, it always brought down the presence of God. Ye if we say, oh yeah, na na do ye da. Thank you so much for availing yourself for God to use you, wish you nothing but abundant blessing from above. Your ministry will flourish. What you see now is just a tip. God is going to take you places you never dreamt of. was like a father to all of us. He taught us the right way to go. He nurtured us and loved us all like his own children. On the occasion of your Tante, I love you so much. May God increase the oil upon your life and make your name a household name. God bless you for all you did for us and we appreciate you so much. Us from knowing worship today because he introduced prayer he originally bless you for happy birthday and may you enjoy the rest of the day. God bless you. Happy birthday! Everyone here gathered, it's a privilege and an, a rare opportunity for me to be sitting here and talking to you. My name is Apostle Abraham Lord Mensa, a head pastor of in a court family chapel. I want to uh, share the years. Apostle Abraham Lamte is not just a friend but a brother because our paths crossed years ago uh, when we were young, all of us were coming up in ministry and um, we happened to have met and the moment we met uh, lights just flicked and then we moved on from there. It was one occasion where we were all invited to a birthday party of one man of God and we met there and ever since then uh, his wife, my wife and ourselves together, my name, but we bear the same first name and uh, it means we have a lot in common. Uh, he is a wonderful human being. He is lovely. His sense of humor is beyond. It's beyond. I mean, if he's in your fellowship, if he's in your company, you will never get bored. I love him. I like him. And um, it's good to know that he also loves me back as a brother. My wife and myself convey our love, our felicitations, and our um heartfelt wishes unto him we want to say apostle god bless you beyond every bit of the blessings in the bible the blessings of abraham isaac jacob and all the great and mighty people that god blessed i pray that you also your blessing would become so 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 many of that uh, believers house of worship is going a long way because of the vision that God has embedded in your heart. We know that this great family is moving forward and everything that God has entrusted. Apostle, you are not alone. 
We stand with you in body and in spirit. And we declare that your, 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 your success shall be our success. We declare that your victory in this year, double five, we say, let God do double things in your life. Everything shall come double, double for you. We thank God for your work. Apostle, we will bless you in Jesus' name. Reverend Samuel Nketiah, um, in the ministry, uh, you can call me Apostle Samuel Nketiah. Uh, I am the founder and the leader of Champions Family Chapel. Uh, I'm here today to talk about a man of God, a great man of God. So Abraham Lamte, almost five years now, and I'll be with him, we work together. He's a great man of God, a man who is the full of heart of worship, a man who loved the Lord because the one you love is the one you worship. And one thing about I want to say about him is that he is somebody who loved God and loved that is why today I stand in for myself, my family, and the church. And we want to say, man of God, we love you and we celebrate you as you are celebrating your birthday um, on this Sunday. We want to tell you that we love you and we want to see you that whatever desire in your heart, the Lord will bring it to pass. The heart you have for others, may the Lord make your own also fulfilled. The way you have loved us and loved our ministry and everything. The same thing we also pray that heaven will also consider love you and see that your heart desire will come to pass. Man of God, great anointing, great breakthrough for your church. And I want to say we love you. And we want to say we love you with all our heart, the church and the family. God bless you. Bless, and you are going to be blessed. We thank you for being there for us. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. My name is Apostle Godson from Pong. I am the senior pastor of Kingmakers Chapel, Miracle Abraham Lamte. I met Apostle Abraham Lamte at a program, which was also a birthday program of another brother, Apostle Godwin Nado. 2017 and since that relationship has become a blessing to my life my life has been impacted by his life and his ministry my with a unique grace a unique unction and he has a man that carries an aroma of heaven around his life and since i met him my spirit got married to him and i want and this is to wish him well and to celebrate with him and to let him know we love him. As you said, I'm with you as a family, myself, your sister, and the entire ministry of City of Kingmakers Chapel. We want to say we love you. And we from strength to strength, from grace to grace, from favor to favor, and from blessing to blessing. As you celebrate this birthday, May the hand of God rest upon your life. May the favor of God envelop you. And we pray to God for you that good have they from the family of Kingmakers Chapel and also from the entire Frimpon family. We wish you a happy 55th birthday. And we say God richly bless you. God bless you. We love you. We love you. We love you. So after marriage, uh, we have been together up to this time. One of the things I love about Apostle Abraham Lamte is that he doesn't care about your position in life. You can be a child, you'll be close to you. You can be there, you'll be close to you. This man of God is indeed a man of God. One of the things that he does that I love so much is about his selflessness. Apostle Abraham Lamte will visit my church and pray on my compound because he knows that I am going through some struggle with where I am. This man has been doing that since I, 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 I told him that God is using mightily in his time. 
I pray that all of us will support him and all of us will keep him. One of the, one of close matters. When the thing is A is A, he says it and go. Some of us will try to, you know, polish it, but for him, he's a raw man. That's why it's called me for being a friend in my life and my family. In fact, remember that Abraham Lamte is born, um, on Tuesday, and I'm also born on Tuesday. My wife is born on Tuesday, and so much. As you prepare to celebrate your 55th birthday, which is coming on, on Sunday, come and open it up. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. I wish you all the best. You will not die, but you will live to declare the glory of God. You will live to see the name of Jesus. God bless you. I think that I'm using this uh, wine to propose a toast for the coming birthday that your life will be better. Apostle Abraham Lampton, the apostle of worship, God bless you. Stay blessed, stay cool, and I want to say that I love you. Temple of Praise Baptist Church loves you. It really... Amen. alone, you have many admirers and many people that wish you well. You amaze me, you know. You amaze me with your multilingual capacity. You amaze me with your multifaceted gift. And so today on this, your special birthday, I want you to name of Jesus through praise and worship because I see you and as I look at you, I keep praying for you that God's grace will help you. And I pray that God will provide you your hands lifted up financially. They'll keep your hands lifted up prayerfully. And above all else, God bless you. A song in ever the other time. And it's very touchy, very anointed and very special. And so on this your birthday, I pray that you will see more churches and beyond. I pray that that vision will become a reality. And I pray that opportunities that come your way, you will never miss it. You will take full advantage of it. And I want to remind you that the provision, be fearless, be bold, and be anointed even more. I pray that on this your birthday, the face of God will shine over you and that you will start seeing signs and wonders as you presence down. Nelanto kumka tete mi osofu taki aboy na e ka e fatalo anti de de taki aboy eh wo ke wo mi ese wo yi aka wo lebo aka nyimo de ncha job be ye e ye mobo e wo ani e fe mu fo mu fo ni keshikaya Eja ke mufo ke shikafita ye e hani ni mojamo e fi o fine e kwa kan mebo. Tomano uyo ake wanyeme game e ke woye watope ke ke wanyye se se in lako ye ng otom in lako ye ng se se shimong ye yesu ba mi o ba ye no fi ano ni asafu e shi yo nun cho akbelegbe koni odeng akakpla oka chon oka bashka shi mong ofe no ba che mong ke chon no dromo ke shi da wake haan ye wa nun chwa jobo happy birthday my spiritual son and god bless you on this occasion of your 55th birthday i want to wish you a very happy birthday and i say god bless you for all that you do for us for the ministry and for everybody that is connected to you and i want to thank god for the from you being my husband you are my pastor you are my mentor many years ago today 25th of um, october you put a ring on my finger so it's also our anniversary it, it has not been easy we have been through it all hell high waters whatever but god has kept us and on this day, 
I just want to say God bless you and give you more, more years, 55 more years. May he increase you in wisdom, increase you in unction. May he touch your lip with the coals of fire, wherever you stand to me. And we love you. A brief biography of Apostle Abraham Lamte. Apostle Abraham Lamte is a seasoned man of God that God has raised to prepare his people for his second coming. He was born on the 20th. Hallelujah. Amen. I use this opportunity to wish my daddy a happy, happy birthday. And I say, Mommy, God bless you for being with daddy till this time. I want you to celebrate our daddy this morning. Give a shout of praise unto Jesus. It's by his grace. Hallelujah. <laughs> For it, pal me. Nancy, when you're a couple, where whom I brought, it's him hold up. Tetra, my dear, but you know, oh, dear, dear, more a full sunny. Near not time for punishment. Daddy, come on, sorry, beer. Near now, bet you for it, catch your mother about you more. No, daddy, I'm more a full son. You lift up your hands and say, Wow, my young one, yeah, mama, daddy, say, I fear to walk, yeah, mama, say, Wow, 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 yeah, mama, be more. What oh, yeah, miss, wow, my young one, yeah, me, yeah, mama.
Also coming to be a blessing unto us. Let's put our hands together and welcome. Put your hands together for her. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank God for today, for what he has done for our father. In fact, he has kept us, kept him for us. Many pastors are gone, but God has kept him. Amen. Amen. So I want you to join me as I sing this song. Nyawaya mama fimo me dawasi. Minya me uma wonsa swa mama yeshira. Me dawasi o nyame abrini ne. Oma won sasua mama yeshira Me dawasio nyame abrenine mo Sit down and cross your leg Oh na nyoy ula dog it is not that Today I want you to be on your feet if you have a white handkerchief I want us to wave it on to God I want heaven to see us waving our handkerchiefs and appreciate him Please be on your feet and let me see your hand catch it. Mama, mama. Oh, I have mine. Wait a bit. Let's go. And shake your body. Say. Now why am I my family? Now I say. Me now me. Now why am I my family? Let me hear you. Oh, my one son. 
was asking myself, so if all of this is being said about my father, which I can say of a truth, is nothing to impress him. He lives the life of the Bible, and that is the person he is. I asked myself, so what impact have I also done? Will people be able to say this of me? And I think this is a great opportunity for all of us to sit down and think back and decide on our own that we are going to make an impact in this life. So our lives will also be a living testimony. Amen. Oh, he's abreast with the latest. He loves the old time. And we have such a mistral in our midst. Please help me welcome Oba Abawa Koni. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm with you. I'm sorry. I'm not done. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. I'm a power child. The dad, 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 the Et Oh 
Abessa, and so I saw the Kakra in the Chemetuamano. Amen. Hallelujah. If you have a father that is musically inclined, you can imagine. Help me welcome the host choir of Believers House of Worship, the show choir. So I agree that was for the show for but now with all due respect I want us to be on our feet and let's celebrate Jesus in the house we are not celebrating any man but the name of Jesus the one that has given you breath the one who is good hallelujah we are not here to bore you as usual the show for we want to proceed with praise and with thanksgiving and with worship and our song is simple we want to thank God for what he has done for our father he's come through a mighty long way so we need to be grateful to God hallelujah if you agree with me I want you to put your hands together for Jesus Sweat. 
What's all I rank Amen. She is prophecies have come to pass. She is the epitome of beauty. Church, in the warm applause, let us see our one and only mother, Apostle Dr. Gloria Lampin. Hallelujah. Please take your seat. If that clap offering was for me, give Jesus the one for which we are gathered here. This morning, I want you to have a shout of not honor. You do not attract. What you do not celebrate. The Lord, somebody. Hallelujah. As you shout, may your testimony come by the end of tonight. The louder that shout, the greater that testimony will be. So emotional, woman of God. I casted my mind back 23 years ago. A week to our engagement, we were able to buy only three clothes. We we're supposed to present six. We had to borrow three from somebody. Borrow things to add up. Borrowed money to put in the envelope. Some of the envelopes were were empty. A day to the engagement, there was no money to buy together and present it. I want to tell somebody here that trust the process. Trust the process. Don't envy me. Don't envy me now. Know my story before you envy my now. I met this young man 24 years ago. And you know the story already. I'm not going to repeat it. Somebody can tell me it's Founders Day. What are you wearing? I am providing it. I've gotten to the point where somebody can call me and say, what are you doing with your hair? I am doing it for you. Today, I was torn between three people wanting to come and make me up. That I found my calling in his calling. Many years ago, he, he asked me to marry him. He said, would you marry me? I said, are you my type? It was a 14th. He followed me. He said, today. (laughs) He said to me, today, no clap for you. 
Wherever you are going, I will go. Your people shall be my people. Let's go. And he followed me around. I was frustrated. I said, what is this? He pastored me for all these years. Like I said, we have gone through the changing scenes of life, the highs, the lows, the good, the bad, the ugly. But whatever God has said, no man, no woman, born of a man or a woman can change it. Church, I want you to help me. Welcome to the podium, the celebrant of the day. Your pastor, my pastor, the apostle of worship. Abraham Latte. I will worship the Lord for he is worthy. gospel song I learned as a Muslim. You won't believe it. As a Muslim. And I don't know how she knows. They, they, they know how to pull surprises. They know. Amen. And I want to take this opportunity to thank God for the life of my father. It's all the way in the U.S., so, Papa, thank you so much. And also to Bishop Peng, prayed for me and blessed me. Minister, I call her minister, not an artist. She will bless us when the man of God is through. But I acknowledge the prayer. All protocol observed. My sweet sister in the corner there, I can see her face the ache. me here. Those masks, she she like me knock them on the bomb you so much for being for coming. I wouldn't take much of your time. Eleven years ago, nine to eleven years ago, I heard a voice and I decided from friendship to brotherhood. He's always been there, and we love him. And I remember that. Every time Founders Day, he's always here. Sometimes he is outside. He will perform. He is the chief executive officer of Eagle Group of Companies. Let's receive Prophet Dr. Sam Addison. Don't stop clapping. Don't stop clapping. Keep on clapping. Keep on clapping. So I want to be done. Give the Lord a clap offering again. A joyful clap and a shout of praise. Hallelujah. It's a blessing. For well, his level of glory, strength, and energy. God has blessed you. Can we also clap for the wife 
Powerful woman of God, amen. Can you please take your seat? Amen. This midnight, I woke up and I was praying. Preparing to go and preach for Bishop uh, Bishop Alute in New York. At that time, we have waited for 10 years. And my wife was and 25th of night. I was praying. I've ironed my dress. Everything was hanged. And I heard she saying, by the grace of God. I want to honor Apostle. He's a man, very powerful relationship. So I'll call my wife. I did something special for him to honor him. We are telling him that the Lord who has begun a good work. I know it's a surprise to you, but we are giving this from my wife and I. I told you that very short word, but I refuse today. I remain the short. Amen. I'm speaking on the topic the ministry of shame. Genesis chapter 9, verse 20. Joshua, are you ready? Do you, do, can I get all the translations in my preach? All of James. But I'll ask you for some translations. Genesis chapter 9. Noah began, and Noah began to be, to be an husband man, husband man, and he planted a vineyard, and he planted a vineyard. Yes, twenty-one. Yeah. And then he drank and became uncovered in his tent, and Noah became uncovered in his tent, and Ham, and the Ham, father of Canaan, 